guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent... Don't you agree? The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. Aw, so you really care about her. Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. So, it's true. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. You noticed! Oh, I am flattered! No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. But truth hurts sometimes. You could say I'm looking forward to your choice. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Come on. Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface, and our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Ah, uh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around? and see for yourself. So go ahead. What do you see? Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? Ah, how typical. The age-old tale of savage wolves and helpless lambs. 
Good and evil as clear as day. It's a tired story that people cling to in their mundane lives. Oh, how it keeps them in check. But let me ask you this. Do you truly believe the real world can be that simple? Let me give you a couple more tips. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Huh? What is it? Are you back for some chit-chat? <laughs> no, I refuse. Oh, and don't try to threaten me. You're not in a place to bargain, remember? You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. <laughs> Come on, no need to get so worked up. I see you're itching for a fight, but our game isn't over yet. Strike now and risk being crippled. And what a shame it would be to miss out on these crucial clues right in front of you. After all this effort, do you truly want to throw it all away? Oh, are you seriously going to judge me off of those rumors alone? Oh, I knew it. Gentle lambs like me are bound to suffer. Never given a chance to speak for ourselves. Well then, I suppose I'll have to be a little more ruthless with you. Play nice and go investigate the clues in this village. Then I might show your girl some gratitude for leaving us be. Otherwise, you may have to bid her farewell forever. What do you say? <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. Such a burning desire for battle. How could I have the heart to decline? As you wish, then. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh, you found us already. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. These are white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join. Uh uh uh. Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. <laughs> Gale Storm! Be such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all. Shh, shh, don't be.
tell me, do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd or the rule-breaking black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the Black Lab can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors! Playtime's over. Ja! Gale Storm! shattered Scar's illusion that should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from her! Didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not-too-distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. 